In this video, I want to show you my Vizio Smart Rack shapes and stencils. They make drawing racks very, very quick and easy. And let me show you why it makes it quick and easy. So here I have a rack, and I'm just going to zoom in on this drawing that I've done. Um, if I take the components and pull them out of the rack, And I'll add a piece of equipment one at a time. So if I add this piece of equipment, you see that the rack automatically resizes. The RU set, uh, measurements all change. Uh, and the rack just grows as I drop the piece of, pieces of equipment in. Now, I can grab multiple bits of equipment and drop them into the rack all in one go. Everything stays glued to the rack so I can move it around. I can then choose equipment, say this Marantz receiver towards the bottom here, and I can move it towards the top. And all of the audiovisual equipment will move to accommodate it. I have about 60 devices in my stencils that depict things like AV receivers, um, PDUs, networking equipment, uh, and various things like that. Now, some of them I've made smart. So an example of that is this Control 4 EA5. So if I zoom in on this, you'll see a picture of a Control 4 EA5 automation controller. I can double click it. And uh, I could say that I actually want this to be a triad uh, audio matrix switch. So now I have a triad audio matrix switch. Okay. Or I might want to depict a control for uh, HD base T uh, matrix. Okay. I can now add that to my project. And we're good to go. Okay. Um, other things that uh, are really quite handy are things like uh, if I zoom in on this 24 port pitch panel, I can double click on that and I can make it a 48 port. And you can see now that it's changed its. Uh, shape and it's now a 48 port patch panel okay um, you might have collected a whole lot of stencils for racks over the years uh, and you're wondering well can i use them in this shape and yes you can so let me do well, all you would do is drag them onto the page resize them and then drop them onto this uh, shape and they will work like the rest of my shapes so here's a really Simple example of how you can create a your own shape. So here we go. I'm going to do a really flash Apple TV. Uh, I'm going to put it on a shelf. Group it. I'll make it a really bright color so we can see it and drop it into the project. So now you can see that I can move it around, it's snapped into place, I can still move it around in the rack, and my shape is, is working just like um, any of the other shapes that I have. So if you like these Vizio stencils, um, you can purchase them from Blackwire Designs, and uh, yeah, enjoy, thank you.